Helen Friedman coordinates events and leads activities for Experience Corps. Here she gives a talking tour of Ed Kashi's Aging in America photo exhibit in San Francisco's City Hall. These two men now live together. At one point, uh, this man used to go to Kmart for his breakfast in the morning, and retired man, and he would see him with his wife. They sat at another table. And one morning he noticed that the wife wasn't there, and he walked over, and uh, his name is Arden Peters. He walked over and he said, how is the missus? And he said, she's very sick. She had Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and was committed to her bed. And uh, he kept meeting with him for coffee in the morning. And a relationship and friendship grew out of that. And this is a picture of the wife. Uh, she, at this point, was still able to make her thoughts known. You know, she would be able to speak to a certain degree. And uh, he called one morning, and Arden didn't answer the phone, and it was snowing. And uh, he called a second time. He figured, well, maybe he's in the bathroom or the shower or someplace. Didn't answer. Third time, he called 911. He figured, there's something wrong out there. And uh, he went out there, and Arden was lying on the floor between the beds. You know. And uh, <coughs> they took her to a nursing home. And uh, they were going to commit her to the nursing home for good, because they felt that he couldn't take care of her anymore. He was 90, you know. And this man said, well, if she has care, can she stay in her own home? And uh, the social worker said, well, if she has care of 24 hours a day, yes. So they had a woman coming in during the day, and he would come and spend the whole night. And eventually, when she passed away, he moved in with Arden. And you can see here, he's taking care of him, giving him a haircut. And uh, Arden passed away now, too, and he's still living on the farm by himself. Hmm. And it just makes me wonder who will take care of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's no kid anymore. But it's a very beautiful story. It's very unusual for men to form this kind of relationship. Mm -hmm. Women do it, but not men. Uh, the little, the little uh, Spanish girl that I was in training with, I don't know if she went on to become a volunteer because she was have, having a great language problem, and so was another couple that, uh, whatever they were having us do, which I don't remember, but the directions, they, they just were not following the directions of whatever it was they were telling us to do. And then when it came their time to explain it, they were having a hard time explaining it. So, you know, I think they might have shown up and then it was, too, it was, I don't know if they were able to sign them somebody that didn't speak English or, you know, I don't know if they did that with them. The bridge is not just saying this, this is what it's like to be young and this is what it's like to be old, but the bridge is what do we have in common? The bridge is to say, um, you don't need to act old. You don't need to to emphasize decrepitude and crawling off in a corner, you know, whatever, whatever the, you know, this cultural thing about putting old people aside. Uh, you can be active, you can be out there, you can be doing this stuff, you can have enough energy to deal with the children. And the kids don't have to say, you know, being a child means you, you're not competent to do things, you're, you're, uh, you have to be protected, you have to have uh, um, somebody standing at your shoulder all the time saying, be careful, be careful, don't do that. Uh, that you can act with responsibility and, and figure out stuff for yourself. And that, that's, to me, that's a real bridge to say, all right, this is what we're giving to each other. A, a, a recognition that we have all these things in common. Whatever your talents are, whatever your experiences are, you can use them at experience court. It doesn't matter what you did before, whether it be writing, drawing, whether it be drama, whether it be uh, movie critics, whatever you did before, you can do this at experience court.